Hey, what's happening guys? Elton here. It's another beautiful day here in the city of Modiana, but still some wind as usual. And very much below seasonal values for this time of year as I just heard uh, uh, Randy Renault say on Shom FM. And it's only about 9 degrees Celsius and usually it's about like a little more than twice that, about 18, 19 degrees Celsius usually, which is about, I don't know, I guess 70 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Anyway, and a fucking metric system is a tool of the devil, as a lot of you know. And when I was younger, man, being 44, I never even thought twice about it, but it's true, and I don't feel like going into that, you know. doesn't matter if you're talking about centimeters, inches, imperial gallons, or liters. Anyway, so uh, I got a lot of photos to show you guys, and uh, thanks again to Jack who bought a bunch of pictures from me uh, recently out in uh, New Hampshire and uh, it motivated me to basically get all of these uh, several, several, as you can see, several pictures blown up. There's more than my usual share. This is probably going to take about 20 minutes or more, I think. But I'm going to try to go through all these one-of-a-kind photos uh, as quickly as I can with details because, you know me, I love to give details and details and quality or what sell things. So, now, unlike before, uh, where you've seen pictures that I showed that I took with my 35 millimeter camera Canon in 2011-2012. All these pictures I took between, I think, 2004 or 5 and 2010 and 11, somewhere around there. So some of these basically are pictures that I had made up from uh, slides I took with slide transparency film that I later uh, scanned with my scanner, which I still have but I haven't used in years. And so you're gonna see like this. some of them are like, like this one here, for example, that's from a slide photo that I took in 2006 downtown and it's not, it's not perfectly sharp, you know? So, but that was also because my computer, I think it was maybe also because of my computer uh, wasn't, was outdated and not powerful enough to make the scans sharp as they are because I, I later on, I scanned a lot of other stuff or, or actually it was with a different scanner and, and they were much sharper. But anyway, I'm rambling on. So, like I said, this was like, uh, I don't know, April or something like that, 2006 downtown, Freightliner Classic. All these pictures are uh, two bucks each, but if you buy a bunch of them, they might be less, uh, depending on what the picture is. And also, there's a guy, uh, hello to you, I think, sir, your name is Mike, out in Australia, down under. So, we're going to make a deal, my friend, as well. But don't be disappointed too much, there's no sterling pictures in this uh, batch. All right, so next we got a beautiful Peterbilt, looks like a 379, that was in the Ville Saint Laurent area, this was in 2007. And out on St. Patrick Street is a very uh, industrial sector of the city, and that's where I shot this beautiful, uh, very uh, kind of a funky looking uh, Peterbilt. Uh, looks like it's a trash truck uh, trailer, and the same deal here as well with this Kenworth W900, pictured at the same time. Now again, these are digital pics so here. Uh, you can see the quality, I think it speaks for itself. And uh, just checking to see how things look here in the viewfinder. Something's askew though, just trying to get it to look as nice as possible. Yeah, this is like 2010, 2009, 2010. Uh, slide photo, uh, this was in the West Island in the Burbs on uh, Sources Boulevard. Really badass uh, custom Peterbilt, look at the size of those stacks man. Very cool stuff. I think, that, again, this was 2004, 2005 when I was living out there. Uh, digital photo on uh, Rue de l'Église uh, in the Verdun sector when I was living there between 2009, 2011. And uh, very, uh, kind of a bizarre rig because it belonged to a movie production uh, company, as you can see by that trailer for the stars. But look, they took away an axle to save on weight and therefore fuel. Uh, back again, 2005 or six on Highway de Carry, Custom Pete. And look at this fantastic beauty. Again, back in Verdun, we're not, not far from where I used to live on Bannantyne, one of the fucking ghetto streets. Check that out, a Mack garbage truck getting towed by an 87 Kenward. I know because I, I shouted out to the operator of that rig. I think the only thing that was stupid about that truck though was all those additional lights in the, in the you know, in the bumper, two would have been fine. Never saw that truck again. A lot of these trucks, I never saw them again. Like this beauty here, this dirty beauty, worn out tires. I was told by these guys over uh, in the Villa Mart area in this uh, 
a sort of a trucking depot, I don't know, garage, I guess, that it was a 79. They said, come back in the morning, uh, or the next day, you can take pictures of it. I went back there, it wasn't even fucking there. I said, yeah, come back in the next day, uh, you can get some pictures of it, it'll be, it'll be clean. Eh, which neither was correct, never saw that truck again. Uh, I'm happy to say, though, this truck, I see it on a pretty regular basis. Um, you can see it, su it suffered some damage, I mean, these were never, I don't think these were very common up here, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. That's a Ford CTL 9000. Uh, cab overs really fell out of favor from operators in North America for a lot of reasons. And um, yeah, guy still drives this truck, man. Still driven um, uh, locally. It's an 86, thanks to one of my subscribers who told me, uh, well, you're, this was in 2009 or 10, uh, again, in, uh, on uh, Dilly Glees. I remember I. I, I was coming home from the grocery store, my fucking both hands filled with these heavy bags of groceries, and I saw that truck, and I ran, I ran at the light, I think at the corner of uh, uh, Bannon time to get a good shot of it. That was really cool. Uh, around the same time, 2009-10, this was in the LaSalle sector, not far from Verdun, a GMC C7000, I think, C6000. Yeah, uh, again, the same time, 2009-2010. Ford L9000 or 8000 on Dollar Street in the LaSalle sector. Oh, by the way, I'm going to make a mental note to, um, if not sign these, but to at least put my initials EM underneath. I, I wasn't happy, actually, with the job they did on this print here, actually. It looks better in the in the camera because I always have my camera for the longest time now set with extra color in the videos or, or, or photos, but this one doesn't look as good, actually, uh, to my satisfaction, but I, I wanted to include it because it is kind of a rare truck. You don't see trucks like this around here often. Uh, this is probably a farm truck. So it's a, I don't know, 75, 76 Dodge, uh, I don't know, D500 or something. I saw this truck again, though. It's in the Utramo sector. It still looks great. This one, too, they overexposed it a little bit. Nice GMC top kick uh, seen uh, near my friend Julian's place in Montreal West, 2009, 2010. Very nice. Looks like the truck was redone. It was so fucking nice. Um... Off Sherbrooke Street, again, same time, 2009, 10, 11, sorry, 2009, 2010, digital as before, and lost so many picks, uh, Ford L9000 garbage truck. There's a 95 there, lead me to believe that's probably a 95, and that was the last year they made these trucks, unfortunately. Christ, they had a fucking production run of 25 years. Of course, that was at the time when people were more of the mentality, hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. We don't fucking live in that time anymore, really. Kenworth W900, uh, sitting there near the um, near the Canadian Railway Company, but uh, there's also, I think, uh, that Nova Steel Company, I think that's what it was there for, we're waiting to drop its load. And also nearby, the old Merck Frost, uh, well, I, it was an old Merck Frost uh, Chevy truck um, near the Dominion Bridge Company, again in Lachine. Um, you know, for sure that was scrapped, this looked more like be a parse truck more than anything and again the same area this truck actually I think is um, might actually be in my area this old top kick uh, I'm pretty sure it's the same one I've seen on Hoshalaga also with a white one nice shot nice low sun shot there in Lachine um, I gotta switch hands here yeah that's an awesome Freightliner which is probably not on the road either I think I might have even seen this one with Simon at a uh, in St. Amab there at a truck recycling uh, yard. Amazing rig. I was glad if I didn't film any of these trucks to at least photograph them because, you know, they I always say more than ever, you know, here today, gone tomorrow. Not often I get a, a shot of a truck with the operator uh, just walking by it there. It looks like it was about to take off with that excavator, I think, or drop it off, I don't know. This is near Little Italy, actually, so near St. Laurent Street. And um, it's amazing how, how much effort it requires just to talk a lot, eh? Seriously, like, imagine being a comedian or something like that. I should know, actually. Come to think of it, I used to do sales and telemarketing. Oh, my God, sometimes I was so busy. I don't miss that talking nonstop like that. Why do you think I do some of these fucking videos where I don't say a word, man? I don't mind. I don't mind doing that. Some people, they don't want to hear me talk, so so be it. You know, can't please everybody. Yeah, it seems some guy named Calvin used to own this truck. Took a couple of shots of it. It's parked off of uh, St. Jacques Street again, 2009-2010. NDG sector. NDG means Notre Dame de Grasse. This is a street. Uh, that's where actually that's where the Gazette building uh, is. 
or was. Ah, oh, there you go, Jack. I'm looking at you, buddy. You asked me about these fantastic brutes. Uh, that's an awesome truck. I haven't seen this truck in ages again. Probably, I would imagine, retired. You know, the governments and these fucking insurance companies, they've done a great job of keeping all these old trucks off the road. Eh? Seriously, merci beaucoup, vraiment. Là. It's an all the more reason for these these modern truck companies to, uh, you know, to make money uh, uh, selling new trucks. Eh? Really, it's, that's how it is, man. You know, it is what it is. Really gone to South America, even. I don't know. Awesome design. 70s design, actually. Came out in 73, I think, this model. And, um, but the ones that were left were, uh, were cement trucks, cement mixers, uh, that were, a lot of them that, that were stuck around because they were built to last were, last, were owned by the company called Miron. And they were red with the, uh, the mixer part itself was, uh, you think orange or yellow. That was in Verdun, by the way. Yeah, just at the beginning of, uh, uh, De Street. And you can see part of the Verdun Auditorium there. Got a couple of shots of that rig. Looking pretty forlorn and not definitely showing its age was this uh, GMC um, uh, top kick from the 80s, probably uh, out in Laval. Not too far from where my brother lives, actually. And uh, again, you know, same around the same years, 2009, 2010. So you see, back at that time, I still took a lot of pictures, you know. This one also, they overexposed... Um, the developer there from Jean Coutu, um that was in Ville Saint Pierre in Lachine. Yeah, the old Johnston Street Cleaner. I see. I actually see these. You know, because there's still a lot of these around because they they really only do seasonal uh, work and they don't. Uh, it's not like they're working every day. I don't know about that, but, but of course that nice uh, L9000, L8000 cement mixer. And then you got this um, Chevy uh, C. Uh, I don't know, C70, I guess. Got a shoot there for the dump box. This is off uh, Sherbrooke Street in NDG. Again, 2009, 2010. Uh, this one, I think, could have been in 2011, I think. Like April, March. I'm looking, judging by those trees there, lack of leaves. Another nice old L9000, 94, 95, 93, something like that. I don't know, it could be older. Yeah, on Des Sources, Boulevard Des Sources there. In uh, Dollar de Zormo, western part of Montreal. Did I mention all these are in Montreal? Yeah, well, I think it goes without saying. I think this was on Papineau Street. Nice Pete. 2009 10. Near Papineau as well. Look at this. This is on, uh, I think this is on Belchess. Yeah, this chick got into the shot of this uh, Ford uh, LTL 9000, which was really no more to be a highway tractor, long haul tractor. Uh, but somebody probably made that into a dump truck and uh, I had to check she adds to the shot though, you know and that truck actually I'm sure it's long gone. It's probably been scrapped. I haven't seen that Actually, no, you know what? Sorry. No, no. I saw this truck actually a couple of years ago. I think in my neighborhood So I think it it probably is still in use. I mean, why not? They were so fucking well made those trucks now this one especially I made these ones for my friend Gary who I've yet to meet one of my fans from uh, from Ottawa this old American fucking crane there. It looks like 70s, probably. And, uh, you know, these trucks were always powered by Detroit. So, ah! Fucking loud, man. Amazing. And uh, that was out on St. Laurent Street. Maybe in or near Little Italy. Again, 2009, 2010. And then you have into these winter scenes here. This looked like it might have been a spare truck. I know a few year, years ago there was one they had a, a spare or they kept it for training only uh, for the uh, secure uh, armored truck company. But of course it's really, um, I think it's a French version of, uh, I think it's really a Brinks truck if I'm not mistaken. Now, now they look like shit. They're all white like half the fucking trucks out there. But they used to be black and red. But no, you know, it costs too much money to paint them. So I have a, I think I have two or three pictures of these trucks. They're really beautiful. Now they're fucking shite. They even sound like shite. But I think that truck was actually an 86 because look at the, the serial number on it. Or 88. See, it says 88. Right in the snowstorm. That was on Provo Street in Lachine. I'm not making this stuff up. I remember everywhere, everywhere I took these pictures, every year practically. Right here, this was in Ville St. Pierre, snow removal. Awesome shot. 
took a few pictures on that corner there, right off St. Jacques Street with the LaRue snowblower. Yeah, I'm sure somebody's going to buy that. Max CH. Could be, maybe, maybe not in service, that truck, you know. Very cool. Dirty ass Peterbilts. Uh, I don't, actually, this one is funny. I don't remember exactly where I took this picture. That could have been on Bedeschast, could have been on Rosemo, somewhere around there. Waiting their turns to do snow removal, I guess. Maybe not. I don't know. There's a nice old Ford L9000 there, right there. A BFI garbage truck. That was downtown, 2009, 2010. I remember the guy working, this younger guy. He was all proud and everything. And posing with a dumpster before they dumped it or after they dumped it. I don't know. Uh, there's a uh, T800 Kenworth uh, STM uh, Wrecker. Uh, which may or may not be in service. I want to see something here. Because I think that that bus... It's numbers. I think it was a 28-013 or something like that. And you know, 13 is a bad luck number. So it's just, just funny. That was in Ville St. Pierre on Lachine's on uh, St. Jean Street. Really cool stuff. And I wanted to finish with some fire trucks like this here. Uh, this was in, I think this was off uh, Beaubien in the Villa Race sector. And look at that. That means that that Spartan, they're all, these were all like all 1995 models with the Detroit. So. You know, again, this truck was like, what, 10, 11 years old? You know, that was from a slide photo, though, and, and so was the next one here. I went to finish with a bang here. Uh, this was in uh, Ville Saint Laurent, uh, right near Covert Sur Metro, I think. These old, these two old Freightliner cab over trucks. And it's funny because I think that, let me see, yeah, this one, oddly enough, I don't know why the hell it came all the way up here or there. It's fucking 220. The station 20 is far. That's downtown. That was a full response. But that's it. When there's a fire, a major emergency, trucks will come from anywhere in the island of Montreal. Anywhere where there's available units and personnel to respond, to, uh, to make an efficient response, you know. And notice that that Freightliner, that's like an 88, 89, I think. Or 90 because that was the last years for the split windshield the two-piece windshield and then they went that's what's interesting about this picture because then you can compare to this one which is like a 92 uh, freight with an Anderson body there I think it is and um, hang on a second no sorry guys sorry my bad this is not in Ville Saint Laurent I think this is actually um, this is in the plateau yeah but another thing I noticed what's interesting about that unit too is the um, the bumper. It still has the, the original bumper on this one. They always got replaced. I know something about heavy trucks. They always that's like the 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 body part that always got lost the most. Almost got always got trashed. Like this one here, the bumper here looks like it came off a cement mixer. Frankly, yeah, this is the kind of shot I would definitely make a large print out of. No question about it. So that's it, guys. I hope you really enjoyed that. Like I said, two bucks each. If you buy a whole bunch of them, I'll make you maybe a little bit of a better deal. And uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. And uh, uh, please uh, check me out on Patreon. Uh, Elton McFall, Elton like Elton John, McFall, M C F A L L. If you want to forget about all that jazz, you want to send me a nice gratuity, a token of appreciation, you can do that with my email. It's Elton McFall at hotmail.com. Yes, I still have Hotmail since like forever. And uh, you can do your payment. Uh, let's not call it a payment. You're not buying something. You know, you're, you're again. It's a gratuity. I like to think of it as a new term I use. You can use. Uh, camera stop recording. Hot. Yeah, you can use uh, PayPal, or of course, if you're in Canada, you can use uh, Interact e-transfer. And I thank you guys very much for watching. And don't worry, I always got plenty of great videos to come out. And I'm going out more than usual because it's it's getting you are beautiful. And also because uh, the buses and uh, metros are all fucking all empty practically. And um, I don't see that much of a danger with the COVID-19. I mean, I don't hang around with crowds. And people who always seem to get this, they're near other people. Um, like celebrities and stuff. And what's going on in the White House. And I know I'm a loner. So, you know, I wear my gloves and uh, put on the mask if I have to. And that's it, man. So... Anyway, you guys take care and uh, stay well, stay safe, and rock on. Talk to you later.